True leaders seem to have a way of naturally emerging. They don't go out of their way to ask for extra responsibility. They simply end up gravitating towards it. And when the situation calls for them, they are there to provide guidance and support. The growth and emergence of new leaders is part of the natural rhythm of any organization. As established leaders move on to new phases in their careers and lives, new ones rise to accept the challenges of the future. Youthful leaders can renew an organization's sense of vitality and position it to achieve new levels of growth. Tonight's presenters of the Classy Award for Young Nonprofit Leader of the Year know a thing or two about emerging leaders. As two of the principals behind Summit Series, they are responsible for bringing together and encouraging relationships between some of the world's most influential thought leaders. Please welcome the co-founder and curator of Summit Series, Jeff Rosenthal, and the founder of Green Laces and director of community building for Summit Series, Natalie Spilger. Awesome. Hey, everybody. How are y'all feeling tonight? All right. Um, thanks for having us. Scott, Pat, stay classy. This is incredible. Summit Series is an event series that brings together a community of entrepreneurs um, in order to empower them to use shares knowledge to drive positive disruptive growth. We're working to transform the world through business, art, science, and most importantly, the philosophy of cooperation. Uh, it's a true mashup. It's representative culture today. We grab the best from everything that we see around the world and we bring it all together. Um, nonprofit founders, artists, entrepreneurs, and the key is just bringing the best of each industry, each silo, and breaking those silos and doing that work together. Cool. Hi. Yeah. Um, so like Scott and so many others, I'm with Summit Series now, but Two years ago, I was alone and feeling pretty lonely. I was playing professional soccer and had started this nonprofit, Green Laces, and felt like I was on a treadmill running so fast. I didn't know which was harder work, the fitness at soccer or the work with Green Laces. And some it was a true best blessing. It was coming into a community of friends and people that were completely in inspired to make change. So I'd like to take a moment for everyone here tonight, if you could just um, feel a bit of community and turn to the person next to you, whether or not they're with you or not, and just give them a big hug. Can we do that? Hey, did we get to hug? Mm. Aww. Aww. Can everybody go, aww, aww, while hugging? And then for, for those of you that um, just maybe look the other direction and say thank you, Thank you. Thank you. I know someone definitely got a, a Hug It Forward bracelet in the audience if what I saw outside took place. But um, So I got to see this firsthand, this strengthening of relationships through collaboration. And we, our entire community at Summit Series, has come to believe that the nonprofit leaders of the future will be the ones who are the masters of multiple disciplines. They will have a deep they have deep intention, adaptability, powerful narrative, skills and understanding on how to build and manage a business that matches their desire to impact the world. It's incredible and all, all while having a zero marketing or advertising budget. Let's give you guys a round of applause. So in the success of our, of our future and the organizations that impact the world all to come down to those that are leading them and the development of the young leaders that are willing to embrace new strategies, to move beyond traditional roles. And it is our great pleasure not only to be announcing this award, but to be offering a spot at the next Summit Series event to the winner of our next award. So without further ado, here are the nominees. The finalists for Young Nonprofit Professional of the Year are Amanda Everard for her work rescuing homeless animals for NowCast San Antonio. Amy Harmon for her 11 years experience in nonprofit management education. Angela Libby for her work as program coordinator for The Perimeter. Emily May for founding Hollaback, a website to end street harassment. Faith Huckle for founding Restore NYC to support victims of sex trafficking. Heather Reynolds for her work at Catholic Charities Fort Worth. 
Kimberly Felshaw for founding Operation Showers of Appreciation. Leslie Lewin for her work with Seeds of Peace. Sarah Finger for founding the Wisconsin Alliance for Women's Health. And Victoria Lanier for founding Education Through Music, Los Angeles. And the winner of the Young Nonprofit Leader of the Year Award goes to Faith Huckle, Restore NYC. Thank you so much. This is uh, such an honor, so humbling. This award really represents the power of community. Last fall, Restore opened New York City's first long-term safe house to foreign-born survivors of sex trafficking. And that, <laughs> that um, would not have been possible without the support of volunteers, donors, and friends. As the issue of modern-day slavery continues to gain a lot of awareness in our world, it becomes so much more necessary to provide direct services to the survivors. Because when all of us are talking about issues, we're actually talking about people's lives. So our goal is to use this award to continue to spread the mission of Restore, not just in New York City, but nationally as well. So thank you again. Thank you, Stay Classy. Have a great night.